So we need to prove that the speed of a particle going through what's called the velocity selector is equal to the electric field over the magnetic field. So let's begin with what the diagram of a velocity selector looks like. So here you have a magnetic field going into the page and you have the electric field going perpendicular to it. This allows it so that it travels in a straight line. The forces are going to sum to zero. So right over here, we have a freed body diagram of the forces that are acting on the charged particle. I want to reiterate what exactly these forces are. So because the magnetic field is going into the page and this is a positive particle, we have a magnetic force that points up like this. And because the electric field is pointing downwards, and because this is a positive charge, this positive is more attracted to this negative uh, charge. This positive charge is attracted to this negatively charged plate right here. We have an electric force that points downwards. So once again, just to reiterate why the electric force is pointing down is because when you have an E field such as this acting on and then you have the charged particle going through it, it'll be attracted to the negative portion over here. So now let's go ahead and complete these equations right here. So if we sum the forces in the y direction, we get that the magnetic force minus the electric force should equal zero. This portion right here, the acceleration in the y direction will be zero because if it was accelerating, we would see that this particle might move up or the particle might move down. But because it's going in this straight line represented by these dashed black lines, we know that the acceleration is zero. So if we continue on, we can say that the magnetic force is simply QVB. And if we move this to the other side, we can say that it is equal to QE. And where we get this, recall that the electric field is a force per charge. So we simply rearrange it and solve for F. We get that F is equal to EQ. So we can cancel the Qs on both sides leaving us with V, B is equal to E, and we can say that V is equal to E over B.